Hello and welcome to another Lego Ninjago Summer Set Review. This is set 70735 Ronin Rex and it comes with 547 pieces and retails for £40 in the UK. Let's get straight into the set by looking at the box. This box has the new design with the green ninja at the top with the red and then it shows the front of the box with the minifigures at the bottom and then on the back of the box we have some play features and the animated picture. On the top of the box we have the minifigures and it's a very cool box design. But now we'll get into the minifigures. First off, we'll start off with the smaller side of bad guys. So first we have this Screamer. And it has the face which is sort of not screaming. It's holding a chicken leg. And this side piece. And as you probably already know, if you take... <coughs> The screamer, it can fit on a minifigure's head. Like that. Now we come to Ghost Ninja Attila, who has a new mint green sword and has some nice torso print with the nice new ghost mask with the trans green on the back. And you can see his face is the same as all the other foot soldiers on the basic print on his legs and torso. Now we'll come to Gultar, who has the purple hat, like Sensei Wu, but it's in purple this time. He also has the ghost mask and armour. Now I'll just give you a look without any of his armour on. How he looks most of the time in the show. Just looks like that and you can see his nice face print and some back printing. Also the new ghost leg piece. We now bring in the Ronin minifigure who is exclusive. He's a very nice figure and he also comes with two katanas and two of these stud shooters which as you may know shoot quite well. quite cool little thing and you get two of those and then on the road and minifigure himself he has the sensei hat in red and then he has some nice face printing and if you take his head off you can see he's got a dark red mask that matches his hat you can also see this bit sheath which holds the two katanas. Now you can see his face print and the rest of his printing. He's a very cool minifigure and I'm really thankful to get him in this set. Last up we have a Kai minifigure who is in the Ajitsu at the minute but you can see that he is here with his new mask and some cool printing all over him. If you take that off you can see his face better. Now we will move on to the dragon and villains or ghosts depending on what you would refer to them as. So it is very cool dragon 
you can see this is articulated and a nice head and then he has the wings on the mini ball joints just like the head and this is a space for a mini fig to sit and you can see the mini ball joint in there and the tail which is movable very cool now finally we'll get onto the Ronin Rex REX itself So from the front, you just see the entire thing in all its glory. And as we move closer in, we start at the bottom here with some toy feet used to make up the cannons on the front with some gold studs and stuff all over. You can see we have the golden sort of fire with some nice stickers in here. And you can see this engine booster which is on a ball joint and it has the sensei wu hat with um, other detailing all around it you can also see we have some lights on the side here and then this nice piece on the front here and up here we have this big windscreen piece and if you push up this then you can bring it down and if you pull up this this is Ronin's control area and here you can see yes, a sticker on there with the control sticks and here you can see we have this screen that was originally used in a Star Wars set then we have some cabinets up here where you can open and you can get your chicken leg and put it in there just somewhere to put that. Some binoculars used up here to add some more texture. And you can just see in there some stickers. Now we'll move on to the back. As you can see, we can't see very well in here. There's not much light, but you can see this very nice sword up here which is a sword of something or rather I can't remember but I have seen it in the show and it reflects your enemy's next move and Moro does have it for a long time you can also see in the luggage compartment an aero blade on a small stand quite cool build and then again and there we have these bits which can move out and a crate which is a co quite a common piece and as we move up we can see the engines and then if you see this sensei woo hat if we look at the front of the engine when you turn that they spin there's also another way to do that and I will show you that in a minute. These can move up and there's some nice pipes coming out. The reason of this set more, being more expensive than the Master Wu Wo Dragon is it has bigger pieces. I also have that set and will be doing a review soon. You can see there is a handle here which you can just lift it up by and if you, I will just set up the main play feature of this set Now, as you see, we have the, it all ready. And as you can see, if we pull the rip cord, then these blades spin. But there is also another thing that, that this can do. 
and if I pull hard enough, then I can make the agency fly fly. Oh god, this might not go too well. As I'm trying to hold my camera with one hand and do it at the same time. So now you can see that just came off there. I flew around a little bit and I fell down. But this is the Edgy Flyer, and you can just pull this out and pull this out, and that's that. So, as I said, I have another review coming soon of the Master Wii Dragon set. Well, I thank you for watching this video, and please comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.